The origins of the Sabbath are intricately woven into the fabric of the Bible, beginning with the creation narrative found in the book of Genesis. It is within these first few chapters of Scripture that we encounter the concept of the Sabbath not as an afterthought, but as a deliberate and purposeful act by God. After six days of creating the heavens, the earth, and everything in them, God chose to rest on the seventh day, Genesis 2 verses 1 to 3. This day of rest was not due to fatigue as God is all-powerful and does not grow weary. Instead, this rest was a divine pause, an act of completion, satisfaction, and sanctification. The Sabbath, therefore, is more than just a designated day to refrain from labor, it represents a profound theological truth about the nature of God and his relationship with humanity. It serves as a memorial of God's creative work, reminding us that everything we see and experience in the world is the result of his sovereign power. By setting apart the seventh day, God sanctified it, making it holy and distinct from all other days. This divine sanctification transforms the Sabbath into a sacred moment in time designed for reflection, worship, and renewal. Throughout the scriptures, the Sabbath evolves from being a commemoration of creation to a central element in God's covenant with his people. It becomes a day that embodies both physical rest and spiritual significance, inviting humanity to pause, remember, and draw near to their creator. It is a recurring theme that reminds us not only of God's power in creating the universe, but also of his ongoing provision, grace, and care for humanity. The Sabbath is also a powerful sign of God's covenant relationship with his chosen people. It is a tangible, weekly reminder that he is not only the creator of the world but also the redeemer and sustainer of his people. This dual purpose of the Sabbath does both a memorial of creation and a sign of the covenant underscores its enduring importance in the life of believers. As we delve deeper into the biblical foundation and theological significance of the Sabbath, we will see that this day is a divine gift. It is a time set aside for believers to rest in God's provision, to reflect on his goodness and to worship him in the fullness of his glory. The Sabbath invites us to step away from the busyness of life and into a sacred space where we can experience renewal, both physically and spiritually. It is a day that continues to offer profound meaning, pointing us to the Creator and reminding us of His covenant of love and care. 1. Creation and the Sabbath The concept of the Sabbath finds its origins in the very first chapters of the Bible, specifically at the conclusion of the Creation Week. According to Genesis 2 verses 1 to 3, after six days of creating the heavens, the earth and all forms of life, God ceased his creative work on the seventh day. This moment of divine rest is significant, not because God required rest, as he is omnipotent and never grows tired, Isaiah 40 verse 28, but because he chose to pause. This pause was not an act of necessity but one of divine intention. It marked the completion of God's perfect and harmonious work and by resting, God set a precedent for humanity. God's rest on the seventh day was a sanctified moment. The text tells us that he blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, Genesis 2 verse 3, setting it apart as holy. This sanctification is important because it indicates that the seventh day is different from the others. Unlike the first six days, which were filled with the activity of creation, the seventh day was set apart for rest, reflection, and holiness. This divine action did more than just complete the week, it established a sacred rhythm of work and rest that would shape the human experience for generations to come. God's rest was a model for humanity, an invitation to share in the sanctity of the Sabbath, pausing from our labors to reflect on the Creator's sovereignty and the perfection of His work. The Sabbath is thus far more than a cessation of physical labor. It holds deep spiritual significance, serving as a time for humanity to pause and acknowledge the Creator's power, goodness, and role as the sustainer of all things. By sanctifying the seventh day, God was inviting humanity into a sacred relationship with Him, one marked by trust and dependence. Just as God rested and took delight in his creation, so too are we invited to rest and delight in God, recognizing that our very existence, our world, and all its provisions come from his hand. 
In this light, the Sabbath becomes a powerful reminder of the intimate relationship between God and His creation. It calls us to stop, reflect, and remember that everything, our work, our lives, and the world itself, originates from God. The very act of resting is an acknowledgement of our dependence on Him and it serves as a weekly reminder of His role as the Creator and Sustainer. The Sabbath stands as a memorial of creation, encouraging us to step back from the busyness of life and appreciate the profound order and beauty that God has woven into the fabric of the universe. Furthermore, the Sabbath invites us to recognize the limits of our own power and the limitless power of God. By resting, we symbolically surrender our efforts and productivity, acknowledging that, ultimately, it is God who upholds and sustains the universe. The Sabbath is a day to remember that we are not defined by our work or achievements, but by our relationship with God. It is a time to realign our focus, recognizing that while we labor, it is God who provides and sustains all things. This sacred rest points back to the truth that God is in control and we are His creation, called to live in harmony with Him and His purposes. The establishment of the Sabbath in the creation narrative is also a profound theological statement. It teaches us that rest is part of God's design for humanity. Just as God ceased His creative work, He invites us to enter into a rhythm of work and rest that reflects His nature. The Sabbath is not simply a break from labor, it is a reminder that our lives are ultimately sustained by God's power and grace. In resting, we affirm that it is not our efforts alone that sustain us, but God's ongoing provision and care. The Sabbath, rooted in the creation account, is more than a day of physical rest. It is a time for deep spiritual reflection and renewal, a day set apart to recognize God as the creator and sustainer of all things. By following God's example of resting on the seventh day, we are invited into a sacred moment where we pause, reflect, and acknowledge His sovereignty, reminding ourselves of our place in His divine order. The Sabbath calls us to stop our striving, to rest in God's provision, and to reflect on the beauty and goodness of His creation. 2. The Sabbath as a Memorial of Creation the Sabbath is not just a day of rest, but a profound and ongoing memorial of God's creative power. It stands as a weekly reminder of the momentous event in which God formed the universe and brought everything into existence. Observing the Sabbath allows humanity to step back from the hustle and grind of daily life to remember the one who created it all. It is a sacred pause in the cycle of work and productivity, where we are invited to reflect on God's provision, His handiwork, and the intentional design woven into every aspect of creation. Genesis 1 verse 31 highlights this beautifully, God saw all that He had made, and it was very good. This declaration underscores the completeness and perfection of God's work. The rhythm of creation, six days of work followed by one day of rest, established a divine pattern for humanity to follow. The Sabbath, in this context, is a continuation of this pattern, reminding us that life is not solely about labor, achievement, or production. It is about recognizing that all we have, all we are, and all we achieve is ultimately rooted in God's creative power and gracious provision. In the practice of Sabbath observance, humanity is called to rest and reflect on this fundamental truth, God is the Creator and we are His creation. This acknowledgement shifts our perspective away from a self-centered focus on personal accomplishments to a God-centered focus on His majesty and sovereignty. The Sabbath invites us to cease striving for one day, recognizing that we are not the ultimate source of our own success or well-being. Instead, we remember that everything originates from God's hands and we are sustained by His grace and care. Moreover, the Sabbath is a time to celebrate God's beauty, order, and goodness. Just as God paused to look upon His creation and declare it very good, so too are we invited to pause and delight in the world He has made. The Sabbath gives us space to appreciate the natural order, the intricacies of life, and the awe-inspiring grandeur of the universe. It is a day to marvel at the way God holds all things together, from the vastness of the stars in the heavens to the smallest details of life on earth. In observing the Sabbath, we mirror God's own delight in creation. 
We are reminded that, like him, we are meant to enjoy the goodness of his work and take time to savor the beauty of his creation. The Sabbath teaches us that rest is not an afterthought or a break from a real life, but an integral part of the divine design. It is a time to reconnect with the purpose for which we were created, to live in communion with God, to delight in his works and to rest in the assurance of his provision. The Sabbath as a memorial of creation also speaks to the intrinsic value of rest. In a world that often glorifies busyness and productivity, the Sabbath stands as a countercultural reminder that rest is not wasted time but a sacred act of trust in God. By observing the Sabbath, we are declaring that we trust God to sustain us even when we are not working. We are acknowledging that our worth is not defined by our productivity, but by our relationship with the Creator who designed us to live in a rhythm of work and rest. Ultimately, the Sabbath calls us back to our roots, reminding us of the original harmony between Creator and creation. It invites us to rest in the knowledge that God is in control and that His provision is sufficient. By setting aside one day each week to remember and celebrate the Creator, we are aligning ourselves with the natural order established by God at the beginning of time. This rhythm of work and rest is not just a practical necessity but a spiritual discipline that keeps us grounded in the truth of who God is and who we are as His creation. The Sabbath serves as a living memorial of creation, reminding us of God's incredible work in forming the universe and His ongoing provision for all that He has made. By pausing from our labors, we are invited to reflect on the beauty, order and goodness of God's creation, just as He did. The Sabbath is a time to acknowledge that life is not solely about human achievements but about resting in God's care, trusting in His provision and celebrating His role as the Creator and Sustainer of all things. 3. The Sabbath in God's Covenant with His People The Sabbath took on a profound significance within God's covenant relationship with the people of Israel. As the chosen people of God, the Israelites were set apart from other nations, and the observance of the Sabbath became a defining marker of their unique identity. This sacred day of rest was not just a reminder of creation but a central component of the covenant that God established with His people, underscoring their special relationship with Him. In Exodus 20 verses 8 to 11, the Sabbath is enshrined within the Ten Commandments with the specific instruction, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. This command is more than just a directive for physical rest, it recalls the very foundation of the world as described in the creation story. Just as God rested on the seventh day after his work of creation, the Israelites were called to rest, mirroring God's example. By observing the Sabbath, the people of Israel were actively participating in a rhythm of life that was established by the Creator himself. This command links them to the divine pattern of work and rest, connecting their daily lives to the cosmic order established in Genesis. The inclusion of the Sabbath in the Ten Commandments highlights its essential role in the life of the covenant community. It wasn't simply a suggestion or a practice that could be taken lightly. Rather, the Sabbath was a sacred institution that carried deep theological meaning. It was a tangible expression of the Israelites' faithfulness to God and their trust in His provision. By setting aside one day each week for rest and worship, the people were acknowledging God's authority over time, their lives, and their nation. The Sabbath served as a constant reminder that they were a people who relied not on their own efforts but on God's ongoing care. Furthermore, in Exodus 31 verses 16 to 17, the Sabbath is described as a lasting sign of the covenant between God and the Israelites. The Israelites are to observe the Sabbath, celebrating it for the generations to come as a lasting covenant. It will be a sign between me and the Israelites forever. This passage expands the meaning of the Sabbath beyond a day of rest, framing it as a sign of the enduring covenantal relationship between God and His people. The Sabbath was more than a physical cessation from labor, it was a communal act of worship that reflected the Israelites' unique status as God's chosen nation. The covenantal significance of the Sabbath is profound. It served as a weekly reminder of the Israelites' special relationship with God, setting them apart from other nations. While other cultures may have worked continuously without a day of rest, the Israelites were commanded to stop, rest, 
and reflect on their identity as God's people. The Sabbath was a visible marker of their commitment to the covenant, their declaration that they were not like other nations. They belonged to God, and their observance of the Sabbath testified to this sacred bond. The communal nature of Sabbath observance also emphasized the collective identity of the people of Israel. It was not merely an individual practice, but a shared experience that united the entire nation. As a people, they posed together, recognizing God's sovereignty and celebrating His creative and redemptive power. This communal aspect of the Sabbath underscored the fact that the covenant relationship was not just between God and individual Israelites, but between God and the entire nation. The Sabbath, therefore, reinforced the unity of the people of Israel as they worshipped the God who had chosen them and delivered them from bondage. Moreover, the Sabbath within the covenant framework was not just a memorial of creation, it also pointed to God's redemptive work in delivering the Israelites from bondage in Egypt. Deuteronomy 5 verses 12 to 15 provides an additional perspective linking the Sabbath to the Israelites' liberation from Egypt. The command to observe the Sabbath in this passage emphasizes that it is not only a day to remember God's rest after creation, but also a day to reflect on the freedom that God granted to His people. The Sabbath thus became a celebration of both creation and redemption, of God as Creator and God as Deliverer. By instituting the Sabbath as part of His covenant, God demonstrated His concern for the physical, spiritual, and communal well-being of His people. The Sabbath was a gift, a day of rest that allowed the Israelites to step back from the demands of daily life and focus on their relationship with God. It was a time for renewal, reflection, and worship, providing the people with an opportunity to remember that their identity was rooted not in their work or achievements but in their relationship with the Creator. In essence, the Sabbath served as a covenantal sign that continually reminded the Israelites of their special status as God's people. It was a day set apart to honor God, to recognize His role as both Creator and Redeemer, and to celebrate the covenant that bound them together. Through the observance of the Sabbath, the Israelites were drawn closer to God, experiencing His presence and reaffirming their commitment to the sacred relationship He had established with them. This covenantal practice of Sabbath observance transcended mere rest, it was a weekly act of trust, devotion, and communal worship that anchored the Israelites in their identity as the people of God. For the Sabbath as rest in God's provision. The Sabbath, with its emphasis on rest, goes beyond simply ceasing from physical labor, it represents a profound act of faith and trust in God's provision. For the Israelites, observing the Sabbath was a tangible way to demonstrate their reliance on God not only for their spiritual well-being but also for their physical sustenance. In the wilderness, when the Israelites were entirely dependent on God for their daily needs, the Sabbath became a symbol of divine care and provision. This concept of trusting God's provision is vividly illustrated in Exodus 16 during the Israelites' journey through the wilderness. As they wandered in a barren land, God provided them with manna, a miraculous food from heaven. However, God's instructions concerning the collection of manna were specific, each day, they were to gather only what they needed for that day, except on the sixth day, when they were to gather twice as much. On the seventh day, the Sabbath, they were not to gather any manna, as God would ensure that what they collected on the sixth day would last through the day of rest. This command tested the Israelites' faith, requiring them to trust that God would sustain them without their labor on the Sabbath. The experience of collecting manna was not merely about food, but it was a lesson in dependence on God. The Israelites had to learn that their survival did not rest in their own efforts, but in God's provision. The Sabbath, therefore, became a reminder that God is the ultimate provider, meeting their needs even when they rested from their work. By observing the Sabbath, the Israelites declared their trust in God, affirming that their welfare was in His hands, not their own. The Sabbath rest was, in essence, an act of surrender, a time to set aside their concerns and rely wholly on God's faithfulness. Beyond physical rest, the Sabbath also symbolizes spiritual rest, resting from the striving and toil that characterizes a life lived apart from God. This spiritual dimension of the Sabbath is highlighted by Jesus in the New Testament. 
In Mark 2 verse 27, Jesus teaches, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. With this statement, Jesus shifts the focus of the Sabbath away from rigid legalistic observance and towards its original intent to serve humanity's need for rest and renewal. The Sabbath was given by God as a gift, a time for people to pause and experience God's peace free from the burdens of life's constant demands. Jesus' teaching on the Sabbath emphasizes that the day of rest is not meant to be a burden or a restriction but a blessing designed to promote well-being and spiritual growth. The Sabbath allows believers to step back from the pressures of daily life and find peace in God's presence. It is a time to trust God not only for physical provision but for emotional and spiritual renewal as well. By resting on the Sabbath, believers affirm that their ultimate sustenance, both physically and spiritually, comes from God, not from their own efforts. In a deeper theological sense, the Sabbath foreshadows the ultimate rest found in Jesus Christ. While the Sabbath in the Old Testament was a day set aside for physical rest and spiritual reflection, it pointed forward to the greater rest that Jesus offers. In Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30, Jesus invites all who are weary to come to him for rest, saying, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This invitation from Jesus reveals the true essence of Sabbath rest, a rest that goes beyond one day of the week and extends to the whole of life. In Christ, believers find rest from the weariness of trying to earn God's favor through their own efforts. Instead, they are invited to rest in the finished work of Christ, who accomplished for them what they could not achieve on their own. Jesus becomes the ultimate fulfillment of the Sabbath, offering eternal rest for the souls of those who trust in him. For Christians, the Sabbath points to this deeper rest, rest from the striving and toil that come from trying to live apart from God's grace. It reminds believers that they are not defined by their work, their achievements, or their ability to meet the demands of life. Rather, they are defined by their relationship with God, who provides for them, sustains them, and offers them peace. In this way, the Sabbath is not merely a weekly observance but a continual posture of trust, the way of life that acknowledges God as the source of all good things. The Sabbath, then, is both a physical and spiritual practice. It calls believers to stop working and striving to rest in the knowledge that God is in control and to trust in His provision. Whether through the provision of manna in the wilderness or through the invitation of Christ to find rest for the soul, the Sabbath serves as a powerful reminder that life is sustained by God, not by human effort. It is a day to cease from labor, to trust in God's care, and to experience the renewal that comes from resting in His presence. In this way, the Sabbath becomes not just a commandment to observe but an invitation to experience the fullness of God's provision and grace. 5. The Theological Implications of the Sabbath Theologically, the Sabbath embodies profound implications for understanding God's provision and the well-being of humanity. It is not merely a day of rest but a divine gift that reflects God's deep care for His creation and His desire for humanity's holistic flourishing. The Sabbath, in its essence, serves to remind us of God's grace, provision, and the rhythm He has established for our lives divine provision and human well-being. At its core, the Sabbath is a divine provision designed to enhance both physical and spiritual well-being. The concept of Sabbath rest goes beyond the cessation of labor, it represents a deliberate pause to acknowledge and celebrate God's ongoing provision and care. By instituting a regular day of rest, God invites humanity to step away from the busyness and demands of daily life, creating space for physical rejuvenation and spiritual reflection. This rhythm of work and rest is integral to human health, ensuring that individuals do not become consumed by relentless activity but instead find balance and renewal. In the context of the Old Testament, the Sabbath is a testament to God's concern for His people's well-being. The command to observe the Sabbath is not an arbitrary imposition but a reflection of God's understanding of human needs. 
It underscores the principle that life is not sustained merely by human effort but by God's grace. The Sabbath, therefore, is a weekly reminder that human beings are dependent on God for their sustenance and that their ultimate source of rest and renewal comes from Him. A symbol of deliverance and grace. The theological depth of the Sabbath is further enriched by its association with the Israelites' deliverance from bondage. In Deuteronomy 5 verses 12 to 15, the Sabbath commandment is linked to the Israelites' liberation from Egypt. Observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy, as the Lord your God has commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work. Remember that you were bondmen in Egypt and that the Lord your God brought you out of there with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Therefore the Lord your God has commanded you to observe the Sabbath day. This connection reveals that the Sabbath is not only about physical rest but also about celebrating and remembering the freedom that God provided. The Sabbath becomes a symbol of redemption, a day to reflect on the deliverance from bondage and to celebrate the freedom granted by God's grace. It serves as a continual reminder of the transformative power of God's intervention in history and His ongoing work of redemption in the lives of His people. Spiritual Renewal and Connection with God Beyond its historical and physical dimensions, the Sabbath holds significant spiritual implications. It is a time for believers to reconnect with God, stepping away from the distractions and demands of everyday life to focus on their relationship with Him. The Sabbath provides an opportunity for spiritual renewal, allowing individuals to reflect on their faith, to seek God's presence, and experience a deepened sense of connection with the Divine. Jesus' teaching in Mark 2 verse 27, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath, underscores that the Sabbath is meant to be a blessing, not a burden. This perspective shifts the focus from a legalistic observance to the spiritual and relational benefits of the Sabbath. Rather than viewing the Sabbath as an onerous requirement, believers are invited to embrace it as a gift, a chance to rest in God's grace, the experience spiritual refreshment, then find peace in His presence. The Sabbath, therefore, is an invitation to pause and reflect on God's goodness and faithfulness. It provides a structured opportunity for believers to worship, pray, and meditate on Scripture, facilitating spiritual growth and renewal. By setting aside one day each week for rest and spiritual focus, individuals acknowledge their need for divine intervention and embrace the rest that God offers. A gift, not a burden. The Sabbath is fundamentally a gift from God designed to enrich human life rather than impose a burden. Its observance is not about adhering to a rigid set of rules but about entering into a rhythm of grace and rest. It offers a chance to step back from the pressures of daily life, to experience God's provision and care, and to renew one's relationship with Him. The Sabbath is a divine provision that promotes physical rest, spiritual renewal, and a deeper connection with God. It reflects God's grace and care, symbolizing the freedom and deliverance He offers. By observing the Sabbath, believers embrace a rhythm that acknowledges their dependence on God and provides an opportunity for spiritual growth and reflection. Far from being a legalistic requirement, the Sabbath is a precious gift that enhances human well-being and deepens one's relationship with the Creator. The Sabbath, rooted in the creation account and developed through God's covenant with His people, remains a powerful expression of God's care for humanity. It serves as a day of rest, reflection, and renewal, calling us to pause and remember God's creative and sustaining power. As a sign of the covenant, it not only honors God but also invites us to experience His grace, provision, and ultimate rest through Jesus Christ. The Sabbath is a reminder that life is sustained by God's goodness, and through observing it, we are drawn closer to Him. Let's pray as we end our devotion. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and reverence as we reflect on the sacred gift of the Sabbath. We thank you for establishing this divine rhythm of rest and renewal which reminds us of your perfect creation and your ongoing provision in our lives. Lord, we are humbled by the depth of your care for us, evident in the gift of the Sabbath. 
As we gather to explore its origins and significance, open our hearts to understand the profound implications of this holy day. Help us to see the Sabbath not as a mere command, but as a precious opportunity to pause, to rest in your presence, and to celebrate your grace. Teach us to embrace the Sabbath as a time to disconnect from the busyness of life and reconnect with you. May this day be a time of spiritual renewal where we can reflect on your goodness, experience your peace, and be reminded of the freedom and redemption you offer. We pray that, through our observance of the Sabbath, we may better understand our dependence on you and find rest in your provision. Let the Sabbath be a time where we honor your creative work and rejoice in the salvation and freedom you have given us. Bless this presentation and all who have participated in it. May it inspire a deeper appreciation for the Sabbath and a greater commitment to observing it as a time of holy rest and worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we wrap up our study on the Sabbath, I encourage you to embrace this sacred time each week for rest, reflection, and reconnection with God. Use the Sabbath as an opportunity to step away from daily demands, celebrate God's creation, and find spiritual renewal. We'd love to hear how observing the Sabbath impacts your life. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And please return for more studies as we continue exploring the depths of faith and spiritual growth together. Thank you for joining us, and may your Sabbath be filled with peace and renewal.